On the first question, we're going to learn on how to find the dy over dx by using the first derivative. So let's say that we have a curve y equal to x squared minus 3x plus 2. And what we need is we need to find the two points to find the gradient. And the gradient of this curve, which is the straight line, is given by formula in change in y divided by change in x. So we can find the y plus delta y by inserting x plus delta x into the x. So we have x plus delta x squared minus 3 times x plus delta x plus 2 minus y, which is x squared minus 3x plus 2. And we divided everything by delta x so that we can get the gradient of the tangent. After that, we need to expand our equation and then simplify our equation. After that, we will have the answer 2x delta x plus delta x squared minus 3 delta x divided by delta x. So now, we can factorize the delta x. After that, we will have delta y over delta x is equal to 2x plus delta x minus 3. So now, as our gradient is very very close to each other, we will limit our delta x to 0. And then we insert 0 into delta x. And by doing so, we will have the final answer, which is delta y over delta x is equal to 2x minus 3. Next question, given that fx equal to 3x power of 2, 4x square minus 1 power of 7, find f prime x. f prime x here means we have to differentiate the equation. So, to differentiate the equation, we need to use product rule. To apply the product rule formula, we need to label the equation into u and v respectively. So, firstly, differentiate u, du over dx using polynomial rule. So, our answer for du over dx is 6x. Next, to differentiate v, we need to use polynomial rule too, but the addition is time 8x here. 8x here is came from the differentiate equation in the bracket. So, our, ans our final answer for dv over dx is 56x, 4x square minus 1 power of 6. So, now we will use the product rule dy over dx will equal to 168x cubed 4x square minus 1 power of 6 plus 6x 4x square minus 1 power of 7. To solve the equation, we need to factorize. So, our final answer for dy over dx is 6x 4x square minus 1 power of 6 32x square minus 1. For the next question, diagram 20 shows the curve y equal to negative x power of 2 plus 6x. Given that the tangent at the curve at point Q is parallel to straight line OP, finds the coordinates of point Q. Which means we have to find the coordinate of x and y at point Q. So, firstly, we need to differentiate the equation of the curve y equal to negative x power of 2 plus 6x using polynomial rule. So then, we will get the answer dy over dx equal to negative 2x plus 6. To find x coordinate, the equation will be equal to 0. Solve it as usual and we will get x is equal to 3. Next, 
To get the answer of y coordinate, the answer x equal to 3 have to be substituted into the equation of the curve, and our answer for y coordinate is y equal to 27. Lastly, our answer for coordinate q is equal to 3 and 27. Diagram 7 shows a part of curve y equal to 2x minus 6 over x plus 2 and a straight line. The straight line is parallel to the tangent of the curve at point P. So it means gradient of straight line equal to gradient of tangent. Find the value of Q. So we already have the gradient of straight line which is 2Q. In order to find the value of Q, we have to find the gradient of tangent. So we need to differentiate the equation of curve y equal to 2x minus 6 over x plus 2. To differentiate the equation, we use quotient rule. 2x minus 6 is labeled as u and x plus 2 labeled as v. Do the x equal to 2 and dv the x equal to 1. So we have to insert the formula and we will get dy dx equal to 10 over x plus 2 power of 2. So now we have gradient of tangent. Now we can find the value of q. 2q equal to 10 over x plus 2 power of 2. Insert x which is 0 and we will get q equal to 5. has a gradient function of k x power of 2 minus 7 x where k is a constant. So dy dx equal to k x power of 2 minus 7 x. The tangent to the curve at point 1, 4 is parallel to the straight line y plus 2 x minus 1 equal to 0. Find the value of k. So it is said that the tangent to the curve is parallel to the straight line y plus 2 x minus 1 equal to 0. Which means... The gradient of the tangent to the curve, which is gradient function, is equal to the gradient of the straight line. So the gradient of the straight line is negative 2. Kx power of 2 minus 7x equal to negative 2. Insert the value of x, which is 1. And we will get the value of k equal to 5.